We're still in Woola, but we've actually moved inside from the garden. And uh, I'm now joined by Bill Eukster. Uh, Bill, um, Roy said a lot about this new missional community pastor. You're he. Um, I know that you came here on the 1st of June. Uh, what have you been doing since you first arrived? Well, the first month or so, we're just involved with emptying boxes and trying to find space to live in the house. Which we've done, we find ourselves uh, settling in very well. Um, it's been getting to know the neighbours, local shops, just being aware of where we are and allowing ourselves to catch up with ourselves really after quite a, a long ministry in my previous church in Warrington. Um, this is such a new venture that we've needed this first couple of months really just to sort of find out where we are. And how have you found the welcome amongst the people? Have you been welcomed in the place? Oh, very much so. Um, the core group themselves, of course, I met them before I came here. And uh, they've, we've met quite a few times since. Uh, they've made sure that we're comfortable, that we're welcomed. We know who everybody is and, uh, you know, re sorting out what the possibilities are for the immediate future by way of meeting people. Um, Neighbours in the local houses, in the streets, in the shops. Uh, again, it's so easy to strike up conversations and to begin to get to know people. And the local Christians uh, in the different churches, there are four churches in Wooler, and uh, I've been meeting all the different clergy and uh, visiting the services, meeting the members of the churches, and it's been great. Um, being able to explain what I'm doing here and uh, to answer any questions, but also making friends and the beginnings of partnership. With uh, thanks, Bill. Uh, it's obviously um, very important that the first things you do a as a group, recognising that this is church without war, something brand new, uh, the first things you do into the community are very important. Have you got any plans for those? Um, several clergy have said to me, just be careful how you start, because if you, in a community like this, if you make a mistake, people have long memories, and uh, it's best to just go carefully and uh, just to be uh, yourself amongst people, while not trying to attempt too many things. Otherwise, you come across as a bit of a, um, you know, uh, a flash sort of guy. Um, I've been meeting with local clergy groups, obviously, to introduce myself. Um, one of the things that I'll be doing in the immediate future is to get around the churches, um, taking up invitations to preach, uh, to take Bible study groups and so forth. As far as the community is concerned, one thing we want to do is uh, to put up a stand at the next Glendale show, which is uh, just a mile down the road, uh, a very important agri agricultural show uh, to which the whole of Glendale area comes. And it's quite a, a date on the social calendar. So uh, with the help of uh, some young farmer, uh, Christian, uh, young Christian farmers down from Morpeth who will be manning a, a, a coffee and tea stall, uh, we'll have a presence there at the Glendale show, uh, hoping to meet as many people from the area as possible. Uh, later on, towards Christmas, we hope to do something. We've got a special uh, idea about uh, a living nativity uh, or advent calendar uh, in Woola and in the nearest uh, villages as well. Uh, scenarios from the Christmas story that people can see in the high street and shop windows in various locations and so trace the Christmas story. Well, thank you, Bill, for sharing with us. and. Uh... Um, I want to assure you that uh, not only will we taking, we all be taking a keen interest in what develops here uh, in Woola and in Glendale, uh, but also that we will pray for you as you reach out in Christ's name. It's really good that this very imaginative initiative should have been enabled by uh, a large grant from Home Mission for which all the people involved are truly thankful.